Affinity is back and it might just be better than ever. Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here today and I want to give a great update which is that Affinity is launching a new version and it's going to be totally free. It's currently available on the Mac, Windows and it's coming to the iPad. So we're going to jump straight into its updates and one thing, the first thing we'll notice actually is that Affinity is now rebranded to Affinity by Canva and the reason this is is because you now need a Canva account to log into Affinity. Despite this, you don't have to do anything like pay for Canva Pro or anything. You just need to have a Canva account and you can log into Affinity and use it. So the first thing we'll see now is that all of the previous Affinity apps are combined into one. If you don't know already, Affinity is a suite of apps that are basically alternatives for Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. Now they've combined all three of those workflows into one application, which is so amazing. So you don't have to keep jumping through a bunch of different applications to create a visual piece of work. So we can see here on their website that they're just displaying how to use the vector workflow. And it looks pretty cool. Then you can jump straight into pixel like Photoshop. And I can see at the top left that you can just click these to go into different pre-built layouts. Then there's layout, which would be similar to Adobe InDesign. And then you can also create your own customized layouts and save them. And then you have a bunch of, you can use different tools from different parts of the application and still have it look very clear to your eyes, not have too many tools in front of your face. Another thing I think is really cool is now we have more support for importing documents. We now have Canva AI, which is also added into the application if you have a Canva premium account. So that's the one catch. If you want the AI features in this application, you need to sign up for a Canva Pro account and you you then will be paying a subscription, of course, to use those features. But all in all, it sounds pretty interesting and it's still free, so I can't be mad at it. I'm actually going to download this and make another video on it probably after this video. So we'll jump into that later. But one thing we'll do is we're going to jump into the frequently asked questions for anything you all might want to know. So as I said previously, you can jump straight into Mac OS and Windows versions of Affinity now. You don't need to wait. The iPad version is on the way. So the first question is, is it really free? And yes, it's totally free. You just won't be able to use Canvas AI tools. Do you need a Canva account? Yes, you need a Canva account. Your Canva account will give you access to Affinity and other Canva products and features. Do you need a Canva Pro account? No, you don't. You can use it for free. And what's new in this new version of Affinity? It includes highly requested features such as image trace, e-publication support, mesh gradients, hatch fills, live glitch filters, as well as custom capabilities that allow you to rearrange panels and combine tools to build your own unique layouts. Can I access AI tools without Canva Pro or other premium plans? No, you can't. What platforms does it support? It's currently available on Windows and Mac OS and they won't detail when it's coming for iPad. So hopefully we get more clarity on that soon. Does Affinity support Apple Silicon? Affinity is optimized for the latest hardware, including Apple Silicon. Will you be able to open your old files from Affinity version one and version two? Yes, you can. You just cannot save in the new applications and then go back to your old versions of the applications. If you save it in the new Affinity by Canva, you can't go back to version one or version two for any of your files. Is there a difference between the app for Mac or Windows? Nope. Can you import your Adobe files into Affinity? Yes, you can. And you can import these file structures. What languages does Affinity support? We see that it's English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese. I don't know how to say this, <laughs> Indonesian and Turkish. Now, what something that's important is what if I need tools for one creative discipline and don't want the other tool sets? All you need to do is use one of their pre-built studios, their pixel vector or layout um, studios, and you can just show your Photoshop tools if that's all you want to see, or you can only see your Illustrator tools, for example. 
If you prefer to use version 2, will it get updates? No, version 2 won't get any more updates, but you can keep using your license. Will you keep all of your add-ons? Yes, all of your add-ons will remain yours and can be linked to your Canva account for easy access. And you use the new Affinity versions and then go back to your iPad? No, right, not right now, because your files would be upgraded in the new Affinity version. Why is Affinity not available in China? It's complex due to regional regulations and they're exploring ways to make it accessible in more regions. Do you need to be online, which is pretty important? And they say you don't need to be online. You just need to be online to download and activate your license with your Canva account. And after activating your license, you can just use Affinity without having to be online. Just keep in mind that if you want to use certain features like AI tools, you'll need to be online and they recommend that you go online occasionally so you can update. So yeah, that's it. I'm really glad that this is free now because it makes it much more accessible to people that are hobbyists or just don't have the money to pay for these creative applications, um, especially a lot of iPad users or younger people that won't be able to pay for this. So I'm very happy that there went this route. A lot of people thought that Affinity was going to make a version three and charge again. Um, and I thought this free version might be a path that they might take and they actually did it but so i'm i'm kind of surprised but i'm very happy i'm gonna i might start just go ahead and use this for work so yeah that's it for today if you like the video just hit a like and subscribe i appreciate you all watching to this point peace